So uh, welcome to this pro tip. Today we will be working and doing some half tones. Uh, we have a full session today and 30 minutes goes by so quickly. So let's get right into it. Oh, and before I forget, I'm Izzy, brand designer from Ottawa, Canada. So let's go right into Illustrator and do a new file. And in order to best generate some half tones, you want to make sure that your file is in CMYK. So in your color mode right here, you want to click that panel and choose CMYK color. Just because I like to have a high DPI because you never know what you're going to be using your file for. Let's do create. Actually, let's, I'm going to edit this artboard a little bit just because I like to have a landscape view instead. So there you go. Perfect. So I just wanted to tell you a bit more about the halftones. So halftones were uh, used before for comic books and it was a way for the printing to actually save ink. So essentially halftones are like a like point <laughs> or circles uh, that fills in like a shape uh, and gives the impression of being fully colored if you want. Um, so now we're, we're actually using them more so to do an effect. So I'm just going to do like a very generic one just to show you how it can be done. And after that, we will use it on a little ghost. So right now I have my shape. I want to make it gray because depending on the gray shade that you're using, it will actually differ from the dot um, that's going to appear in your half tone. So let's, so right now we have kind of a like mid, mid shade gray. I don't know if that's making any sense, but it's not a dark gray. It's not a light gray. It's right in between. So make sure that your shape is selected. And if you go to effect, you go to pixelate and you do color halftone. And then here, this is what is really important. So you have your radius here. So essentially this is like, how big are your dots going to be? But you want to make sure that your channels here, because this is technically CMYK, right? So um, you want to make sure that they're all the same. So then all of your dots are appearing on one of top of the other. And just so we can, um, I'll do 40, 40, 40, and then we will mess it up after just to show you what I mean by this. Then click OK. Actually, that didn't work. So let's try that again. Maybe it's because. Does this need to be bigger? This needs to be. It's always a trial and error for half tones. There you go. So if we actually zoom in, you can actually see some like other colors here that are happening to create those dots. So there you go. So now if we go actually to our color panel here, we can actually see that it's actually using some percentage of other colors. So if we bring that to zero, see if just by doing zero, how it changed. And this is what I mean by if you want to make sure that your dots are black, that you want to have zero in every, um, like on cyan and magenta and in your yellow, and then have the have just the black uh, to have a color. So let's do zero here as well, zero here as well. And here let's do maybe 20. And now we have a clean half tone. All right. So what if we wanted to have like, as we see it in like, we see a lot of mascots like right now and it's using like really nice like half tones to do that shadow. So how do we go from like a big uh, like circle at, at the bottom that goes to like a small one? That's when 
you would use a gradient. So let's do that again. Sorry, just another shape. And we will have a gradient like so. Like that. And just let's apply the effect, pixelate, and then color halftone. Again, want to make sure that everything, the channel is the same. And there you go. Here, you would have your translation from like dark and big circles to small circle. There you go. If you want it even if you wanted this halftone to fade, what you could also do is click here on the white. And if when you see the opacity here, you could also go to zero. And then you would also create a fade with your halftone. So now that we understand like the principles of what a halftone like does, let's try it with an illustration. So I'm just going to discard this. And for the sake of this pro tip, I have prepared this <laughs> cute ghost for you. And the half tones usually work better when there is like a harsh a black outline to your your illustration. Actually, let's make this artboard a little bigger so we can truly see what we are working with. And I also want to say hi to Robert. Thank you so much for being here. Hi to Jack. Hi to Sean. Hi to Adam. Hey to Wade. Um, Mike, it's so good to see you all here. Um, if you are disguised today and having a costume, please let, let me know what, what it is in the chat i would love to i would love to know so okay so actually let me just duplicate that i always love to duplicate whatever i'm working on so i always have that reference to go back to but i'll do it a few times make sure it's grouped all right so keeping the same like idea with the half tone. So as you can see here, we have four different shades of green. This is of uh, green, sorry, of gray. This is white here. And just want to make sure that we can just have a, a crazy combination of half tones here. So I'm going to select this again, go to effect, pixelate, color half tone. And I'm going to make it just a tad bigger. So we're going to play with that. And then just to make sure that it's properly, because I can see here that there's actually some blue that is happening here. And that is okay. Let's just go to our color panel and want to make sure that again, everything here is at zero. And I'm going to show you too how to color your halftone to make sure that it's proper at the at the end okay so here this it's huge so that's okay you can always go back and go to effect do pixelate and half tone again oops and it's going to ask you do you want to apply a new effect and you just say yes so let's just oh actually this is this is great Awesome. And let's just see what happens whenever we actually do change like the color and we make it like a tad darker, the, the dots will actually grow bigger. If we bring it down, the dots will be smaller. Sometimes it takes a bit of time to generate. It must be Halloween because 
things are not working as, as they should be working right now. So they're definitely playing a trick on me. So see here, I haven't changed anything and <laughs> it's working now. So there you go. So I'm going to do the same here. And if you want, you can also do the eyedropper and it's going to remember the shade of the color that was on the shape before, but you always have to go at, into effect and pixelate to make sure that you, whenever you select your different shapes to create your half tones. So here I'm going to make it just a tad smaller. Here you go. And what I really like to do with half tones is the, sh the shadows. Oh my God, yes, uh, Illustrator is haunted. It's definitely haunted for me right now. Just going to select all of the shadows here at the bottom of that like drape, if you want. Again, going to go to Effect, Pixelate, and I'm going to make it a little smaller again. And there you go. So here, because we like it's it's white in the background, it's not giving the same effect as we're seeing here. It's not giving that same depth, but that's okay because we'll fix that like in not too long. I do want to apply a half tone into like the full ghost, except for that ray of light that you see here, this right here. So I'm going to select this. I actually want to do that gradient for that one. So I'm going to have to change the color. And here I want to make sure that it's actually from top to bottom, the gradient. So I'm going to go into the angle and I'm going to do minus 90. So there you go. The It's um, lighter at the top, darker at the bottom. Oops. And then I'm going to go to effect again, pixelate, color halftone. If you don't know how to do that by the end of this session, so just like repeating itself. Um, so there you go. Okay. So this is a little chaotic. So, and we're not necessarily seeing some details with the eyes, which is okay, because we can now go into the gradient and we can also adjust that and see by moving it, we will get a different half tone. There you go. So I'm really happy with this one. Now the shadows, I'm still seeing a little blue, like around the little dots. So I'm going to go and fix that again in the color uh, panel. Sorry. There you go. All right, so we have a funky looking ghost right now, and I'm actually quite happy with it. I know it does not make sense, uh, but what makes sense on Halloween, right? Like, like all the laws of um, what, uh, you know, what we're used to is like, does not apply on Halloween. So there you go. Um, so, okay. So if I, so right now I can't necessarily apply color to this, like, as you saw, like we even lost like that gray shade that was creating that um, that shadow. So in order to do that, um, we will have to expand the halftone. Um, when we see some uh, of the halftones like created into um, like mascots or even logos, this is what you will want to do in order to be able to recolor those halftones um, efficiently. So if we select this, and of course I made a copy, oops. I'm just gonna group that. And I made a copy so I can always go back to it and reference it back. So I'm gonna go to object and then I'm gonna do expand appearance. I'm gonna go to object again. And I want to go to image trace. Oh, I guess I have to. 
ungroup it if I go to image trace. Okay, things are really not working for me today. Let's see if we just do it one by one. If we do an image trace for this here. So it's only doing half of it. So maybe that's because it is in that gradient. Let's try this one here. If we do an image trace. That's good. I guess I'm learning as I'm teaching. <laughs> okay, so if we do object image trace. Hmm. Okay, well. This is not working as I had practice for some reason. So everything can happen on Adobe Live sometimes. So let's try another technique. So whenever we have this here and it's under only one color with the like black here, let's try to see if we have 0% black. So it's it does not show. Hmm. Okay. Let's just scrap this and start over. Sometimes this is the best thing that you can do. We ungroup it. Sometimes like, can we do, can we reduce the opacity of this? Just want to make sure that we create something that is still going to look somewhat decent. Oh, wait, sorry. So, okay. Looks like it's a threshold issue with an image trace setting, maybe. That could be it. Thank you, uh, Wade. So, Daryl, you have a question like, so uh, about uh, does halftone still work for RGD mode? Um, so it can, it's just like, as you saw, like the channels is technically four channels. Like whenever you do like have like the half tones, because it's technically like multiple colors that well the four colors that are on top of each other. Um, actually, if we do try that, just so we can understand. We go to effect and we go to pixelate color half tone and that we do actually mess it up and have like different This was supposed to be all different colors. Okay, so things are definitely not working for me today. Uh, <laughs> so this was supposed to be like a mesh of all different colors and all different um, like circles uh, with CMYK. So, um, hmm. I actually don't know what to do right now. <laughs> okay. So let's maybe draw a pumpkin and with some colors and then see what we can do with that and including some half tones. So to do a pumpkin, let's just start with this. I'll actually draw it in orange. Duplicate it like that.
I like to use the Pathfinder in order to create some interesting shapes. Ungroup that. And let's see what we can do with this. Like there's too much. Daryl Strange, it should have shown the single same way in the angles were all different, right? <laughs> we're definitely having a freaky, freaky Halloween moment right now where it's just uh things are just not working as they should have. And and obviously I whenever I do come on here, I do practice uh to make sure that things are working <laughs> but uh today i'm like definitely keeping me on my toes so i had um i had made i used the pathfinder in order to create the pumpkin but then it didn't make sense i'm just going to um just mesh all that together Like so, and what I want to do is actually maybe if I use the pencil tool, then I can create like something. It's going to be an ugly pumpkin. <laughs> There you go. Okay. It's like a pumpkin that maybe was growing like on its side or something, and it's not like a cute one. But I always like to do this in order to have some shadows. So here I can actually. Let me go back. I'm really off my game right now, and I apologize <laughs> to everyone. There you go. That's what I wanted to do. I like to use a pathfinder like this in order to create some shapes to to then add to the original um, like drawing. In that way, I can create some like shadows like this like that and i'm just going to create quickly like this little like i don't know how you call what's the word for this it's not a handle <laughs> a pumpkin handle thank you wade for saying this is like perfect perfect pumpkins are overrated yes they are I'm just gonna put that here in green like that. And now what we can do is maybe create like a half tone to go on top of it and use the, and let's see if that's going to work. So if we go to effect and then we do, actually let's do a gradient with it. I'm gonna remove the black. Let's see what that does. Put it on top. Effect, pixelate, color half tone. Let's make sure it's all the same. There you go. That does have like a cool vibe to it. Let's do the same with the main pumpkin. 
just gonna make sure that we remove the excess color. Again, pixelate color half tone. Oh, that is cool. And we are going to do the same for the shadow here. Oops. I mean, that's a crazy looking pumpkin, but this is what it would do. <laughs> this is what it would you how it would show if you would like have it with some with some colors. Uh, like it's not necessarily the best practice, but in the sake of this freaky thing that's happening, this is <laughs> what we could do for now. I would say don't hesitate to experiment with half tones. Uh, they're super fun once you get like a full uh, handle of it, and maybe once you uh <laughs> um maybe i don't know once illustrator is cooperating and it's not halloween so on that i would say happy halloween everyone thank you so much for your your patience <laughs> and allowing me to you know mess up here <laughs> with all of you this hey learning is part of the process so thank you so much everyone have a great day mm -hmm.